you're announcing a new device at the same time as you're basically saying you're becoming more device agnostic. Uh, over time, how much of BlackBerry's revenue will be device agnostic as opposed to reliant on the traditional phones? Well, it's going to be a portfolio. I, I, I don't have a number in, in my head, but uh, our software business today is very small. It's roughly about $250 million a year. I'm hoping to get up to $500 million a year uh, in, in the next fiscal year, and then the growth will continue. So you, you, you will see it a, bit of more, a little bit more uh, significant. What is the fundamental case for this mobile management tool that you're announcing? Is it security, especially in the wake of some of the security concerns we've seen on other phones? Is it cost? Uh, yeah. Is it availability? Well, it's a, it's a little bit of a combination of all, but, but the most important thing is, like you said, is security. Um, we're very focused on security, the productivity side of the equation, uh, management, scalability. This is a platform that is going to last us for a very, very long time. We could build a lot of great, great technology on top of that. Great partnership. Uh, you mentioned it a little bit earlier, Samsung. A lot of the carriers are signing on to resell it, to host it. Uh, distributors around the world are very excited about it. So we, we've, got, we've got something good going here. The Samsung news certainly raised eyebrows, as there had pe been people in the past talking about them being a suitor for BlackBerry during some of its struggles. Uh, and by the way, the partnerships that they've had with Google for years now, uh, uh, even on the enterprise side, how have you managed, if you will, to elbow Google out of that equation? Uh, does that, should that tell us something about Samsung's strength or weakness today? Oh, no, I, I don't think we should look. I mean, I think we, we're all focusing on a customer. Uh, ultimately, and I think Samsung and BlackBerry has traditional strength in different areas. This is very complementary, uh, and um, I'm very glad that we could put it together. But it has nothing really to do whether whether we've done anything with or without Google. Uh, you know, obviously, Google is also a, a you know a, a great ecosystem partners in in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the MDM space and the EMM space. Uh, sorry for the mouthful of the terms, but. But you know, hoping, hoping one day that you know we could even build the ecosystem bigger uh, uh, with Samsung and beyond. And what might that look like? And is it ca is capital a barrier, or, or what's the biggest barrier to your growth at this point? Simply demand, uh, the message. No, I, I think it really is about um, technology lining up together uh, to be complementary to each other. Uh, and then have a, have a really good set of solutions for the customers. It's not really about capital, it's not really about anything else. Uh, you know, that's the beauty of the software business. Um, you could add value with very little barrier, it's all about innovations.